They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic, I'm talking taste Welcome, buds. Welcome, Taste Buddies, to the Taste Buds podcast. For the first time ever, we're doing an episode without Sal Volcano. He is away at the moment. And also, for the first time ever, we're having an actual animal that provides food to people co-host the show with me chris chrissy d the pig the pig is here dude i'm eating your freaking meatballs and your sauce dude it's legitimately awesome thank you now what do you what's the difference what do you use instead of breadcrumb well i i'm on a low carb diet at the moment because i'm trying to lose some weight so i used arrowroot powder as a substitute for the breadcrumbs and then i just added all the seasoning that a seasoned breadcrumb would have well, and there you go. That's and, what you got. And what is this? Hold on. Slow down. So you ate the meatball. You liked it. The I love the meatball. The sauce is from scratch, too. Do you like the sauce? The sauce is fantastic. Did you put sugar in the sauce? No. No. Wow, dude. This no. is like the first thing I've eaten all week that doesn't have sugar in it. No, dude. It didn't have sugar in it. This is pork from pork ribs. So uh, how do you eat it? Is, is there a bone? Or you just eat it like a piece of I meat? I think that piece is boneless. Some of them have bones. Yeah, I've, there's a little bone in the end there. You see it? I've never eaten pork rib before. You've never eaten pork, period? No, dude, besides bacon. You never had a pork chop or ham? I had a pork chop for the very first time on Hey Babe, like, what, two months ago? Really? Yeah. Wow, well, all right, we'll all try right, this. Let's try it. What do you think of that? Wow. <laughs> dude, the sandwich shop is going to be insane. Uh, I think it's going to be good. Like, for a bit, to promote the shop, I was telling you, like, I wanted to take a bite of one of the sandwiches and then roof it but right. now i'm not going to do that because then i'm just like no dude then i'll just get rid of a great sandwich yeah i know but you've had the sandwiches and you enjoyed them too yeah dude i i told you i fucking yeah. my favorite is the tuna i know you love the tuna dude because it makes you you think that you're being healthy for dude i've second. been sitting on your couch for two hours and you just keep wiping it down i mean what do i just, please i don't know dude something's coming off of you i'm noticing moisture specks <laughs> on the couch and whatnot pimp Where'd is you get adjusting this couch? the camera pimp did you eat your sauce and pork and yeah? Oh, it's good, man. Dude, say it into the mic for the customer, oh, Pimp. Yeah. Delicious. 10 out of 10. <laughs> we went out, when we were in L.A., me and Pimp, we went to Uncle Paulie's sandwich shop in L.A., oh, and yeah. we took a picture with him. We were like, oh, God, I hope DeRosa doesn't get mad. I saw that. It made me jealous. <laughs> you know who Paulie is? He used to work at Broadway Comedy Club. Yeah, no, he's a he, good dude. Yeah, he's, and he's got a good sandwich But place. I got upset. I, little, I was a little jealous. But then when you said best sandwiches, I got jealous. And then when it said in L.A., in LA I was like, okay, fine. Yeah, I didn't put... I, that's why I said specifically, dude. I want to try his sandwiches. Honestly, Pimp, right? Weren't they awesome? They were delicious, but then I went to another sandwich shop in L.A., and they found out I went to Paulie's, and they said, that guy's a hack. The sandwich yeah, was the other shop? Oh, these two kids from Montclair. They're in Compton. I forget their Wow. Name. Yeah, dude. So it's, awesome. it's interesting. Like, they're sandwich wars now, dude. I mean, I love it, dude. I love it. I take shots at uh, at Subway and, and whatever I can, whenever I can. You take shots at Subway? Yeah. They're, they'll crush you. They have a lot. They're, they're, please, they're a multi-billion dollar company. All I can say is you, you let a pedophile in your, into your scheme. <laughs> yeah. And then, and, then, and then look at the camera and say, and he looks like me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm the, I'm the clean Jared. Dude, if, if, when they do eventually make a movie about Jared Fogel's life, you have to play them. You have yeah. to play Jared. And I, I wanna, it's a dual role. Then I'll also play my competitor self. Yeah. Competing with Subway. With Subway. Yeah, and I'll, I'll, play, I'll play a cold cut that you put on the sandwich. <laughs> yeah. You, you play the prize pig <laughs> that we slaughter and make our award-winning sandwich out of. Uh, Real I, quick. I've I had enough of Sal Volcano going on vacation, by the way. I, I'm a little tired of it myself. <laughs> yeah. He was kind enough, though, to, to put the poll up today Oh, that's for good. Us. Okay, so what's Is the poll? Is it pimp? We'll, we'll get, hold on, before we get to it, God, yeah. just before we get to it, I got a couple things I got I to gotta address with the fans. Guys, the jorts aren't going anywhere. And they're not jorts. They're cutoffs. Just a little fashion lesson for you. Cutoffs are kind of cool. They're kind of down south, little punk rock, little riding the tractor, little we're at the swimming hole, at the rope swing. At the No Effects concert. Oh, the new Descendants is out. Did you hear it yet? That's cutoffs. Jorts are Midwest. I got to go to Target and buy uh, some generic uh, artwork. for the, no, no offense, Target. I love Target. But you get the point. No offense to the Midwest, but there's a difference between jorts and cutoffs, okay? Levi's store sells cutoffs. They don't sell jorts, all right? 
that's all I'm going to say about that. They're not going anywhere. Second of all, I agree with the fans. They stink. <laughs> I mean, look what you're I got wearing. Lululemons on. I love when you wear. You're wearing Lululemons. These are Lululemon I mean, shorts. I'll kill you. <laughs> what? Dude, it's seventy dollars for a short, but the quality is worth it. Seventy dollars for Dad. shorts at Lululemon. You dare put those on when great companies like Bare Bottom and whoever else sent us their clothing. I wear Bare Bottoms all the time too. This is who you're. This is who you're dealing with. Uh, just so you know, sponsors. This is who you're dealing with. The Lululemon sellout. And I love how you wear a fake sports shirt to make it look like you're doing physical activity. I know, dude. I gotta get. I gotta get back in the gym. I gotta get back in shape. I'm loot. <laughs> Dude, I'm slowly losing it. We talked about that a lot. I don't want to ruin it because we talked about that a lot on because I also co-hosted Hey Babe with yeah, you. Yeah, that's going to be a treat this Thursday. Yeah, yeah. So all, all the fans just went, oh. <laughs> they go, they go. I guess I know what I'm not doing Thursday. Yeah. Uh, speaking of shirts, one other shout out to uh, Scott Hill and the rest of the boys in the Fu Manchu band. Thank you guys. I'm representing today with the Fu T-shirt. One of the Fu T-shirts you sent me. Fu Manchu is my favorite band in the world. Uh, I did an interview about them on a website called Metal, Metal Injection. They caught wind of it. Were super nice to drop a line to me on Instagram. Sent me a bunch of stuff. Thank you, guys. It's awesome, man. I've been listening to all the vinyl and everything. Thank you so much for the Foo shirts. I appreciate uh, you sending the Foo Manchu shirts. I'd like to say that I love the 1975. So if you hear that, can you please send me some merch? Because I've been shouting out the 1975 for five years, and you haven't even favorited a tweet. And I swear <laughs> to God, if you don't give me anything now, I'm going Team Foo Manchu band after this. <laughs> and I'll leave the 1975. And by the way, Fu Manchu, uh, Scott DM me and said, Taste Buds rules. How cool is that? We appreciate you listening. Dude, everybody man. listens we really to do. John Mayer listens to Taste Buds. I know, dude. I know. Musicians across the globe love Taste dude, Buds. Dude, John Mayer, if you're listening to this, also, uh, why are you listening to Taste Buds? <laughs> <laughs> it, no, it is a great show. It is a great show because you guys just get so hype about food. And I'm sitting there and being like, hey, man, there's people dying all across the world. Why are we yelling about pea soup? I know. It's but really, I love it, dude. But it's that's, in bad taste, isn't it's, it? it? It's in bad Taste Buds. That should be, that's what should bad be the name Taste Buds? It's in bad Taste Buds. Buds. Uh, and thank you, last but not least, to all the new fans of my new Instagram show, Dis Stefano, where I talk about this atrocity once a week for about one minute. I'll, I trash him. How you People doing? love it, dude. And I'm going to be starting my show called DeBozo, <laughs> which is about Joe DeRosa, a.k.a. Joe DeBozo, where we're going to go on for one minute each week and talk about what a bozo he is. I don't know what you're waiting for, dude. I, I know. really want you to do it. Well, I know. While well, I was traveling, but now that I'm home, I'm going to just think of a good one and just let it rip. All right. Eat more pork, and I'll tell the people about uh, right, today's fine. episode. Today's episode, the battle, as you know from the title, it's cheesecake versus chocolate cake. Which cake is better? You don't like uh, it. Do you like it? What? Do you like the pork? I feel like I'm, you're skeeving out a little bit. I just don't eat really the pork. The sauce Wait, do you so not good. like the... You don't like the pork? You don't like it? I don't... I don't eat pork. Did you like the pork chop when you ate it? Uh, no. No? It was cooked fantastic. I just don't like it. But so you're not, you don't like it because it's pork. Well, we have it to Pimp then. If you said it was chicken, I'd eat it. Pimp, do you want it? Will you I'm, it? I'm good for now. Jesus Christ, guys. Do you <laughs> not like it either? Your, your food is bombing on your own show. Do you not like it? No, no, I like Look, it. I'm, I'm just, just, pork I'm just full and hung over. I don't need more. How much did you eat? Did you finish your plate? I ate... You pigs. <laughs> You're hungover, pimp? Yeah, I'm hungover. You went out and what? drank last night, too? No, I didn't go out. I just drank and edited last night. We've been so tired, dude. I took a nap. I've been, <sighs> like, exhausted I lately. almost kept this pork in the pot because I was like, what if they don't finish it? It's a waste of pork. And I wasted it on both of you. <laughs> Why I'll would finish you? it. I'll Listen, <laughs> you've said it multiple times. Me eating pork is cannibalism. <laughs> Because I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I would eat that right now if I wasn't positive you have the Delta variant. <laughs> yeah. I don't, dude. You have the Delta Burke variant. Look how fat you are. <laughs> Damn it. I know. I keep trying to... Oh, here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right, listen. Shouts out, shout outs to Delta Burke. I'm a fan. No, I, I love Delta. I didn't Del mean that in a shitty I, way. I, you know what's crazy? No, I am I, a fan. That was just a cheap joke. No, I actually did... Um, I had a, a CBS pilot, and my mom was played by Annie Potts, who was in Designing Women. I love Annie Potts. She told me Delta Burke was such a phenomenal actor. You know what she told me? Like, 
the way sitcoms used to run in like the late 80s, early 90s, she said there were many, many, many times we would be on set shooting, like shooting the show that was going to come out in three days, acts one and two, and act three hadn't been written yet. They were writing it while we were doing right. Acts 1 and 2, and we would have to learn the lines quickly. And they said a bunch of that show was just improv or kind of trying to put it together because that's the way it used to run back in the day in Hollywood, yeah. which is insane. It's so It was yeah. so fascinating. Yeah, I know. It's it's wild. I just saw Annie Potts today in the new Ghostbusters trailer. It was great seeing her character back. Is it uh, Ghostbusters with women again? Who's the, who are the no, new Ghostbusters? No, it's a sequel to the original Ghostbusters. And all the same guys are going to be in it? They're in it, but there's a new cast of younger people that are... That are obviously going to take the torch from them. But Who are like, the new ones? Who are the new Ghostbusters? It's like Finn Wolfhard. It's a family. It's basically Egon's like grandkids are going to take over. Got it. But uh, you can't. But they're 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 really like teasing out the original characters. Got it. So the end of the new trailer, it's really cool. Like you keep seeing the ad from the first movie. Where they're going, we're ready to believe you. Remember that yeah, in yeah, Ghostbusters? Yeah. They keep showing that ad. And then finally, after the title card comes up, because you're like, I want to see the Ghostbusters. The f you see the phone ring in the original firehouse, and you see a hand pick it up, and then you hear Dan Aykroyd go, we're closed. Wow. And I got chills. I was, But Annie Potts is in the actual trailer. Talking she was about the best, Danny Potts. Egon. She's awesome. Yeah. She was smoking, dude. She's still hot. She's still hot. Yeah. But, but in, in uh, what's it called? In um, Who's Harry Crumb? Do you ever see that yeah, movie? Yeah, yeah, Where she plays like the tardy wife. Oh, She's yeah. so hot in that movie. I know. Holy shit. Or the, the other one, like 16 Candles or something like that. Whatever. She's in another movie. She's in uh, Pink something. No, she's in. She's in Pretty in Pink, where That's she plays the girl that runs the record store. Pretty in Pink, yeah. Yeah. Dude, you're a movie buff. It's annoying. Yeah, dude. You know what you're not? What? Buff. Buff. I knew you were going to say it, you piece of shit. <laughs> All right, look. Today's, one of the reasons he's not buff and I'm not buff is because of our loves of these two foods today. It's cheesecake versus chocolate cake. Which is the better cake? Uh, Chris, you will be defending... Cheesecake, of course, dude. My last name's DiStefano. Yeah, cheesecake. <laughs> I will be defending chocolate cake because chocolate cake is my favorite dessert that has ever existed. What? Uh, yeah, it is. And also, Chris will be defending cheesecakes because on more occasions than one, you have uh, uh, confessed to me that you have eaten an entire cheesecake <laughs> yeah, by yourself. Dude. Yes, more occasions than one. I, I have. don't understand. Dude, one time I ate an entire cheesecake from Stop and Shop Supermarkets. That's like already pre-sliced into eight slices. I literally got it out of like the, not the freezer, like the fridge area at Stop and Shop in Ridgewood, and Queens. Got the, did it have the paper between yes, the slices? Yes, and I was eating them out of the paper like without I was just utensils. Say, were you to, oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. dude. I was going to say, were you pulling it out like like the, like the it's a taco wrapper? Yes. <laughs> oh, I was my eating it God. like a taco and I was licking the cheese off the Wait, paper. Sober? Sober, dude, and again, once again, I consumed all that with the Diet Coke to not How feel as How long did it take you to eat the whole thing? Honestly, I'm being honest because, you know, Pimp has, has witnessed this firsthand. I'm the fastest eater you'll ever meet in your life. I just consume food. That's why I eat so much. It probably took, dude, I'm not lying, honestly, Joe, like 15 minutes, and it was Chris, gone. Oh, and it was the, the chocolate swirl one, by the way. Oh. Unless it's pork that one of your dear friends made, then it yeah. sits there. I, know I finished my pork. I finished. Did you like it? It was great. Really, it was great. No, you want Chris's Chris like pork? He has the variant. I know. He de oh, my God. <laughs> I don't definitely have the does. variant. Why? Because I lost my voice a little bit? No, I don't know. You just look like a variant. <laughs> <laughs> I have the tire, dude. Yeah. You I know. I like, I, like that, I like that all the variants. Like, the next variant's going to be, like, the jet blue variant. That's the one I'm going to get. <laughs> all right. Usually, Chris, on the show, we do a little bit of history before we get into the battle. Okay. Which one of these was invented first, Pimpy? Let's start with chocolate cake. You already have it up there. I would think that chocolate... I would think cheesecake is earlier. I, w I would have assumed chocolate cake, but let's see here. Okay. The history of chocolate cake goes back to 1764 when Dr. James Baker, wow, Baker was his name, mm -hmm. discovered how to make chocolate by grinding cocoa beans between two massive circular millstones. Holy shit. That's why it's bakery called. That's why it's, he's the dessert This is guy. the guy that invented chocolate. Did yes. you see that? <laughs> yeah, dude. I, that's a, I, I, he's a hero of mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Did you know it would lead to this, Baker? No, no, like, look what you created, Baker. And this was 1764 before we were even a country, dude. Look at what you created. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, 70. Now, you're an ex-history hyena. Yeah. 76, <laughs> 66 is our birth, right? 1776. Or 76, excuse 64, me. 1764, we were still being you know, pretty, you know, pretty much controlled by the British, but independence was brewing, dude. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so so a little bit more history. This is right up your alley. What, when was cheesecake invented? The first cheesecakes are thought to have been made in ancient Greece. See, I knew it was. And wow. wheat flour, pounded cheese, and honey. Pounded That's all you need. Pounded cheese and honey. All right, and Pimp, one more thing before we start out. Yeah, what's the, who made, well, an ancient Greek made the first cheesecake, I guess. Uh, Dude, ancient Greeks, they, a, they again, made. Again, another doctor. Look, a physician named Ag Agamus. Agamus, the Greek physician Agamus. Who wrote a book on the art of making cheesecake? Wow. <laughs> wrote a book in the ancient <laughs> Greece. <laughs> <laughs> on how to make cheesecake. That's wild. Dude, because do because the thing is, I think do you know Dom. Oh god, sorry. No, because doctors know like what's gonna make you sick and keep you sick. So it's two doctors invented both. But can you imagine Argamus how much he got trashed in ancient oh. Greece. Like Socrates was there, was like, you're writing a book on I mean, what? what? Yeah. <laughs> Archimedes had just around that time made the first elevator. And then this guy and then this guy literally, literally was like, I'm writing a book on cheesecake. He was the first guy anybody ever went, You pig. You pig, dude. <laughs> oh my God. I would be would you would be infuriated, right? If you were a doctor in this field? Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, yeah, it's so funny. Cheesecake contains more than 250 calories and a whopping 18 grams of uh, fat Jesus. per slice. You ate how many slices? Eight? Eight. That's 1,600 plus another 50 times eight is what? 400? Yeah. That's 2,000 calories at least in, in one, one sitting. sitting. Plus 18 Yikes. times eight is, oh my God, well over 100 grams of fat. <laughs> and they said the danger of the dessert is the amount of saturated fat hiding in each slice. Well, now it's hiding in my aorta at almost 10 grams. Well, Worst not, desserts for your health, cheesecake. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I can't wait to defend it, dude. It's the worst worst for your health, but it's the best. I think it's the best tasting, and you could do the most to it. Listen, I'll say this, and, and this is how we now slide into the debate usually. I love cheesecake. Okay. All right? I got nothing against cheesecake. I love a cheesecake. I love a cheesecake with a nice strawberry, uh, a, a natural strawberry syrup on it. Yeah. Not, nothing I get hate more than when I go into a dessert place or pastry st shop and they have the separated cheesecake like you talked about. And then the strawberry one is obviously like came out of a gun in a factory. Right. And it's all, it looks, it looks like jelly. Yeah. I hate when that I, I don't like that either. That's lazy. Yeah. I think that's gross and whatever. Well, I like chocolate cake. Who doesn't? That's what I'm saying. Uh, you're gonna get mad at me for saying this, but I'm, dude. I'm, I'm not even trying to be funny. And I, whatever you can shit on me if you want, but maybe you've tried it, maybe you haven't. You know what the best piece of chocolate cake I've ever had in my life is? The Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, dude. Google chocolate cake from the Olive Garden, Chris. dude. It's got chocolate chips on the outside of it. It's called something too, like the chocolate, some Italian name, dude. It's so good. Yes, the no, not the black moose cake. The, the one with the chocolate chips on the outside of it. Yeah, black tie moose cake. The black tie moose cake, it's, it, is that from the Olive Garden? Well, that's, but that's almost like a cheesecake kind of dish. That's moose cake. That's not chocolate cake. But it's from the Olive Garden, right? No, dude, it's I mean, the it looks delicious. I'm it not going to lie No, it is. And honestly, man, I know it's not about cake at all. And again, I, I'm not saying, I'm not saying I, it's awesome, but the pasta from the Olive Garden isn't bad. That's all I'll say. It's fine. It's fine. It's not terrible. It's, it's not terrible. It's fine. Yes, it's I'd not. I'd say their fettuccine Alfredo is some of the best I've ever had. I mean, just the <laughs> stuff this week that you've been saying to me, and we can't really get into it on the on camera, but the stuff this week you've been saying to me is not actually that bad. It's, yeah. I mean, you know, there's one or two, let's just say, people in the world of entertainment yeah. that stop Stink to high heaven that you told me you thought weren't that bad. So now that now this is the first, like, so now because we've been sitting in your apartment, now like I can see like where the anger, like you've been sitting maybe on this couch when I've now said some of the it? things I've said. When I call you and I yell at people that we know, it's right. I yell about people that we know. Yeah, this is why. Anyway, uh, I here's why I like chocolate cake better than cheesecake. Number one, it's chocolate. Nothing beats chocolate. The moist chocolate cake, the sponginess of that with the with a chocolate ice cream or a cream cheese icing on it. I mean, forget it. Get out of town. But the other thing that I love about it is, and also it's the ultimate chocolate dessert, the ultimate chocolate dessert. Uh, and chocolate is the More ultimate More than a dessert. brownie? A cake, chocolate cake. 
Uh, brownies are great. Chocolate cake crushes brownies just on the lack of density. Chocolate cake has an airiness and a fluffiness to it. Brownies are great, but they can be very dry and very dense. Yeah, but brownie you can eat on the go. You can bring a brownie anywhere. Chocolate think I cake. I can't eat chocolate cake on the go. You would, wow, dude. I you would know love who you're to talking to here. You would you would go out with a fork and a plate and eat a chocolate fork? cake on the streets in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, dude. You're a gavone. <laughs> Folks, we are open again for the most part as a country, as a globe. Start again. Folks, we are open again for the most part, uh, finally through what was a severe lockdown. And no matter how you're feeling about getting back out there, there's no denying this is going to be an adjustment, okay? The world's going to get loud. And you know what? When the world gets loud, you should be able to get loud back inside your own ears. Loud should be in your control. And you're only doing that with some great earbuds. And you're only getting great earbuds from Raycon. That's right. The competitive brand of earbud that is a portion of the cost of these other brands, these schmancy, fancy brands that are out there. It's a quality, quality product, and it's coming to you straight from Raycon. Let me tell you this right now. You're going to get a bunch of gel tips for your comfort. Unlike some other brands that just stick right in your ear, they're going to let you adjust these to your personal preference. Uh, you're going to get a 32-hour battery life, so you can listen to what you want, when you want, for a really long time. And again, we're talking half the price here of these other highfalutin brands. So create your own soundtrack. Don't let the world dictate it to you with Raycon. Right now, listeners, get 15% off your entire Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash taste buds. That's B-U-Y-R-A-Y-C-O-N dot com slash taste buds. You're going to save 15% on your Raycon order. Buyraycon.com slash taste buds. Buffy, 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 not talking Vampire Slayer, talking the bedroom player, loving Buffy, man. How many of you have spent sleepless nights worrying about the impact the bedding industry has on the environment? I know a lot of you have, and I know a lot of you just spent some sleepless nights not being comfortable, not being cool, being too hot, whatever it is. Well, Buffy is here with products made using only sustainable, recycled materials and they're super soft, okay? They're going to get you into that bed. Uh, this is as soft as, as you can get uh, from anything on the planet for your bedding, okay? Their latest product, I mentioned being hot, the Breeze. Comforter made entirely 100% from eucalyptus fiber, and it regulates your temperature. Uh, it keeps you cool all night long. People, I have one of these. I'm telling you, I am a habitual sweater at night particularly this thing keeps me cool all night long I, I was a above the covers guy because I couldn't find a blanket that kept me warm uh, but not hot uh, and I don't know if you've ever slept above the, above the covers it's it's you're out there you're exposed okay we'll leave it at that Thank you, Buffy, for the Breeze Comforter. Now I can sleep underneath with no more night sweats. This is softer than cotton. So it's naturally going to soothe your skin. Again, earth-friendly. Okay, it's hyperallergenic, too. That's a thing. The high thread count shuts out the dust and the mold and the mites for a healthier sleeping environment, and it's cruelty-free. There's no down feathers here. So you can try this comforter on your own bed for free. If you don't love it, you return it at no cost. Please do it. Here's how you do it. I want you to go to Buffy.co and enter the promo code TASTEBUDS. You're going to get $20 off your comforter, okay? Again, Buffy.co and enter the promo code TASTEBUDS. Guess what? You get $20 off your comforter, including the guarantee. Again, Buffy.co. Enter the promo code TASTEBUDS. 20 bucks off that Buffy comforter. No, do you eat a little Nemo's chocolate cake square? Did you ever get one of those out of a bodega? Oh, yeah, of course. They're but that's incredible. a brownie, though. No, it's not. That's a chocolate cake square. See, I, little Nemo's are the best. They're, that's not a brownie, dude. That's cake. Those are advertised as chocolate cake. But I feel like if it's cut into a square, in my opinion, that's what makes it a brownie. No, no. So what makes a brownie a, brownie a brownie? Recipe. It's a different recipe. It's a different consistency and texture. They're We're, similar, but it's different. Oh, do they have It's cheese? like saying moose and pudding are the same. They're not. There's a different consistency By to it. By the way, speaking of moose, I went into your bathroom. You have hairspray in your bathroom. Yeah. What do you use hairspray for? Sometimes to keep my curls in place. Oh, 
God, I don't even know why I'm friends with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. I went into your bathroom and you got deodorant in there. <laughs> why? <laughs> you should just have flea repellent. I have tick repellent all over my house. But listen. Listen, what I'm saying is, is chocolate cake, my favorite version of it, and I, I know it's low rent. I mean, I look, I scoffed at you about Olive Garden. This is low rent. I don't care. Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker box chocolate cake. I agree with that. When you make that in the oven and you put that icing on out of that little tin. I agree. It's the grit. I mean, I could eat a whole. I could literally eat a whole one. I have to stop myself. I have eaten a whole one. Entenmann's chocolate yes. cake with the chocolate icing is yes. my favorite Entenmann's. Again, I could eat a whole one. I have to stop yeah. myself. When I moved from L.A. to New York, it was such a stressful move. And I was living with half furniture for like two weeks. And I had no bed. I just had this couch. I was sleeping on this couch. Oh. And I was surrounded with just, it was it was chaos because I, I had no furniture. I couldn't in this put apartment? Away. No, in the first apartment oh. I had when I first came back. I had nowhere to put anything. So it was just boxes around me and pile. It was horrible. And uh, I would wake up in the morning. This apartment had no windows. It was so dark. I would <laughs> wake up in the morning and I would, I would sit up. And next to me every morning without fail was a box of of Entenmann's ch a chocolate cake and a bottle of red wine that I had started the night before and I would start drinking it and eating the cake as soon as I woke oh, up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> as soon as I sat up. Dude, that's, that's depression right there. You, yeah, probably didn't, was, even, you didn't even I, highlight that as it depression. Was so, I was so depressed. I hadn't slept on a bed in two months because of the way the move was orchestrated right. and they took my bed and whatever. And the movers were late. It was brutal, dude. I was so depressed and it was right coming up on Christmas Wow. It was brutal. It was cold. Oh. And the apartment was all dark. But anyway, that's how much I love chocolate cake, that I'll eat it for breakfast with wine during a depression. Yeah. Well, chocolate cake. Here, listen. I, I, It's one of those ones where it's t I'm defending cheesecake, and I'm happy to do that. But it's hard to like. It, it's almost like if you don't like chocolate cake, it's like, you know, like when there's two people like, oh, I don't trust people that drink, which I uh, find. But I, I don't trust people that don't like chocolate. Because, like, how could you not? like chocolate or chocolate cake it's a little ridiculous but if you put a gun to my head if you put a gun to my head i would pick cheesecake over chocolate why? cake because i think che because here's the thing here's why i like cheesecake so much because i think like first of all i know you could put whipped cream and all that stuff on chocolate cake too but the mixture of whipped cream and cheesecake is so good the right cheesecake the right cheesecake I mean like from a diner uh, hear me out yeah because sometimes like the regatta italian cheesecakes are a lot like that like yeah, nona yeah. made like i'm like all right these are okay and it's too small of a piece but dude a diner cheesecake there was this diner on off queen's boulevard called pop's diner that they actually do comedy shows at uh, i know i heard yeah. they're doing shows there yeah. yeah but they had the best cheesecake you've ever had in your life it was creamy it was like junior's cheesecake sometimes is good sometimes isn't but this diner like old-fashioned diner cheesecake is just fantastic and dude for me whenever i hear cheese i'm in i mean <laughs> <laughs> i mean cheesecake for me i agree i love a nice piece of cheesecake the older i get the less of it i can eat because i keep building up this lactose intolerance which sucks oh, uh, that sucks dude i know it sucks uh, i'm down to like three cheeses at this point Really? Yeah. You but, can what like uh, like I can eat hard cheeses. Are you positive you're lactose intolerant? Yeah, dude. I milk uh, uh, certain cheeses, um, ice cream. I eat it. My my inner ear starts itching really bad. If I eat too much, I get a stomach ache and I throw up. Yeah. Yeah. Here's how much I love cheesecake. I even though I eat bacon for some reason, just pork rib just skeeves me out. Even though I know it's the same pig. Here's 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 what I'll tell you with cheesecake. I would literally eat cheesecake made with somebody else's breast milk. I'd eat the whole thing. <laughs> oh, That's Patreon. how much I That's love upsetting. cheesecake. <laughs> That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Listen, why is that upsetting? I'm telling you, I love cheesecake. I'll say this about. I'll say this about cheesecake. It's great. I love it. First of all, the fact that you mentioned putting whipped cream on it, the fact that any of us are putting toppings on cheesecake is insane. It's so fatty and so rich to begin with. The fact that Cheesecake Factory has a whole menu yeah. of flavor infused cheese, it's a it's crime. It's a crime. Dude, their menu is like it's like a it's like when the government released like a, a million pages on aliens. That's Cheesecake's menu. Yeah, it's I like know. it's not, like there's so many items to choose it's from. It's just insane and not a healthy thing on the menu. The salads at Cheesecake Factory have 1600 calories. Yeah, it's wild. But let's I'll, go. I'll tell you this. Do you want to go? Yeah, I love it. Dude. Yeah. Go anytime. Me and Pat Walsh, when I lived in LA, we would go to, 
we had to go to the movies all the time because we had to watch movies for our podcast. We'll see you in hell to review. And there was at the Americana, there's a there's a cheesecake factory right next to the AMC. Yeah. And we were always so depressed. We would go to the cheesecake factory and get plastered at the bar in there. That was like our bar. That was like yeah. our local bar. Oh god. And then we would walk drunk into the movie oh theater my and watch god. a movie. So you wouldn't even eat food. You would just get drunk at the cheesecake Most site. of the time, we would just sit there and get drunk. They poured them heavy in there, dude. Oh, so... <laughs> You, that, if you got to drink on the rocks, it was like that, that. Their drinks were no joke. That might that might be the most degenerate thing I've heard anybody say ever. It is was you great. get ripped at the cheesecake. Factory. Oh, it was great, dude. It was a great yeah. time. Anyway, but I'll say this about cheesecake: when chocolate cake is bad, it's not great, but it's pretty good. When cheesecake is bad, it is bad. <sighs> when it's bad. It's bad. It's it well, almost has like. Do you ever have cheesecake with that? When it has like that key lime pie consistency. Yes. It's so gross, dude. But here's the thing. Here's here's but but I will agree with you. But I'll say. But don't you want some steaks in your food? Chocolate cake. You know, like it's like pizza. It's always gonna. The worst it's gonna be is eh. But it literally can also be so good that it changes your life. And that's what I like about cheesecake. Is yes. Pound for pound. If you put out 100 pieces of chocolate cake and 100 pieces of cheesecake, more pieces of chocolate cake would be better than cheesecake. But the amazing home run hitting cheesecake beats the home run hitting chocolate cake every time. Dude, I literally. This is, a, this is that is a straight up Sal Volcano argument. Did you, how much are you watching the show? And Did you cherry pick his arguments before you came in here? I swear to God. I swear. I swear on my Nona, which you know I never lie about. I've never seen, other than the clips, Homeless Pimp Post, a second of Taste Buds. All right. The, uh, <laughs> that's fine. I don't watch Hey Babe, so don't worry about no, but, it. No, but I don't think we should be. No, no. I, I, what am I watching my friend? Yeah, I don't good. support you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Why would I ever do that? Uh, that is a pound for pound Sal Volcano argument, if there ever was one. Really? Yeah, so that's what Sal goes with? He goes with that a lot. But, but I think, okay, but maybe. But may I say, I always go the opposite direction. I say, if that many ducks need to be in order for your thing to be phenomenal, we're talking... That is, that is, those those steaks are too high for me. I need a workhorse food. I need a food that is going to be there for me when I need to count on it. Dude. If I walk into a deli, okay, and they got a refrigerated section with desserts in it, and they've got individual slices in the plastic containers, which is not the best thing. Right. But if I'm really hankering for something and it's three a.m. and I got no other choice, and I see a piece of cheesecake or a piece of chocolate cake, I'm grabbing the chocolate cake. Nine times out of ten, I'm going to be. Ha not just happy. I'm going to think it's delicious. Dude. And when that dice roll and that cheesecake is a big This just dice tells roll. me everything I need to know about DeRosa because it, and, and, and I could apply it to the times. Here's what it is, dude. Chocolate cake is corporate 1%, and that's what you want to be so bad, <laughs> even though you're posing as a small business, a.k.a. cheesecake artist, dude. You have the look of a cheesecake, <laughs> but the mind of a chocolate cake, you pig. <laughs> You look like a because cheesecake is arty. It's artsy. It's a one-off. Oh, I thought you meant arty. Yeah, yeah, it is arty. Like <laughs> but the, so the New York Post just wrote an article article about him. Said he's coming back. So it's good. Yeah, to see, I'm, I'm happy to back. hear that. I miss arty a lot. I know yeah. what Sal would say in this argument. He'd well, say cheesecake is elegant girl next door, and chocolate cake is like attention whore Instagram thought. No, no, chocolate well, cake is corporate is corporate business, and cheesecake is small business. And I we're disagree. about supporting the small and, business. And Pimpy, you know what I would say in this argument cheesecake is for your exclusive ritzy i want to look down on the working man bullshit business class of people and chocolate cake is out there in the streets making it happen every day making itself accessible it's still riding the subway every day that chocolate cake rides the subway it takes the bus okay you're in the back of a black uh uber black dude with, with cheesecake cheesecake you're in the cop car driving into the protesters dude. eating that cheesecake, cheesecake dude cheesecake. and i'm in the streets with the signs passing out slices a chocolate cake. Dude, cheesecake, even when it loses, it wins, just like Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, it's been a year of loss. It's been almost two years of loss. We don't need any more, and that goes for the small things, too, like your hair. Two out of three men are experiencing some form of hair loss by the time they're 35 years old. Okay. More than 50 million men in the U.S. suffer from male pattern baldness. And there are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss. Keeps offers 
both. So let's talk about Keeps. It's a convenient service. You get a virtual doctor who will consultate you and send you the medications straight to your door every three months so you never have to leave home. Prevention is key. That's what Keeps is all about. Treatment can take four to six months to see results, so you're going to want to act fast. But when that treatment works, it's preventing further hair loss. Keeps also has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors. That goes a long way with me because I don't care what some companies tell me to buy. I don't care what some companies tell me to use. I don't care what some podcast hosts is telling me to use. The customer is key. And the fact that they've got all these five-star reviews speaks leagues about them. So if you're ready to take some action to prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash taste buds. That's K E E P S dot com slash taste buds. You're going to get your first month of treatment for free. What do you got to lose here? K-E-E-P-S dot com slash taste buds. Your first month is free. Keeps dot com slash taste buds. People, I love a good combo. All right. I love a big bacon cheeseburger combo when I'm at a drive through. I love a nice strawberry chocolate vanilla Neapolitan combo back before I had a lactose intolerance and could enjoy ice cream. And you know what else I like a combo of? My booze. Let's talk fizzy for a second. This is the only option for you where you're going to get hard seltzer with antioxidant vitamin C. Fizzy is bringing you something unique, and it's delicious. Come on, man. It's summertime. We want to enjoy these moments with a crisp, refreshing bev, some hard seltz, like a fizzy watermelon. And it's made with real watermelon juice, by the way. So that just makes it even better, okay? Just in time for summer, Vizzy Hard Seltzer has dropped this all new watermelon variety pack. It's hitting shelves in July. That's right now. Again, made with real watermelon juice. And each Fizzy includes antioxidant vitamin C. My God, what more can you ask for? You're drinking and you're helping and you're healing. I like it. Anyway, I really like the watermelon. I'm one of those weirdos that um, I hate actual watermelon but i love watermelon flavored things that's a very common for some reason love real bananas hate banana flavored things fizzy don't make a banana flavor please (laughs) banana drink we uh but i love watermelon flavored drink and fizzy's is delicious uh so upgrade your hard seltzer today to fizzy only one place to buy it, by the way. You're going to go to VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash TasteBuds. That's Vizzy, V-I-Z-Z-Y, HardSeltzer.com slash TasteBuds. And if you want to get updates on all the latest flavor drops and more, you can sign up for emails at VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. That's VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. You must be 21. Yeah. I mean, dude, you, you, can't, you can't deny... The king of let's let me let's let's let me rephrase this. The king of all cakes, okay. I'm sorry. The king of all desserts, in my opinion, is cake. I'll agree with that. It outdoes pie. It outdoes ice cream. It outdoes yeah, all I agree with that. The king of all desserts is cake. I agree. The king of all cakes, traditional cakes, is chocolate cake. No little kid on his birthday. Classic DeRosa uh, thing. Sorry to say myself for the fir- third person. I didn't mean to do Why, but you're going to get one more and then I'm leaving. I, did I do it already? <laughs> yeah, dude. You did it on Hey Babe. No, I didn't. Yes, you did, dude. You don't. That's what a monster you are. You don't even realize you're a tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I only did it because Pimp said Sal. That's a, If Sal was here, he'd say that. You okay. Know, uh, so I just was in that mindset. Anyway, and this is something I say a lot on here, but it is true. It's true. And everybody gives me shit about it, but it's true. No kid has ever said, I want a cheesecake for my birthday. Okay, but I thought this was an adult show. I, I didn't it's know that you were... for all ages, oh which is why God. we don't swear. <laughs> oh, you guys don't swear either here. No, we do. Oh. <laughs> they just bleep it. Pimp I do think... I agree with that. Yeah, like... But see, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. See, I disagree. I, here's disagree? why I disagree with the kids. I think the, You know I'm right. No kid goes, I want cheesecake for my birthday, No, but mommy. the king of all cakes then is the birthday cake. But for the birthday Which cake, the golden kid wants, with vanilla top with vanilla frosting. Please, any kid worth his salt wants a chocolate cake for his Dude, birthday with white icing it, on to it. To get a chocolate cake for your birthday, you know how much more expensive that is. I think pound for pound, the average child throughout the world is getting a birthday cake, ice cream cake, ice cream. 
You want to talk expensive and you want to bring ice cream cake? Dude, Carvel ice cream cake is like nine bucks. You are nuts, dude. You are nuts. Fudgy ice cream the whale? Ca- ice cream cake is the diamond of <laughs> birthday cakes. Oh my God. That is some special stuff, dude. Look, pimp is trash from Queens. Pimp, what did you have most birthdays growing up when you were a little kid? He's trash. I'm trash. Uh, <laughs> ice cream cake. See? That's what we did in God. the boroughs, dude. And I don't know what you guys did in Delaware County. Ice cream cake was a Carvel real... Carvel ice cream cake. Yeah. Ice cream cake was a real special occasion for us. But also, Carvel was not common where I lived. Oh, what, what did you have? Dairy Queen. Now, see, Dairy Queen's a hot commodity for us. Ice cream cake was a real special thing. When they told us we were getting ice cream cake, it was like, guess what, kids? We got ice cream, cream. cake. It was exciting, man. Dude, I'll tell you one. I'll ne- I vividly remember the sitting with my dad and my stepmom on Staten Island, and a commercial came on for the Dairy Queen Blizzard, and the closest Dairy Queen was like 60 miles away in Central Jersey, and we drove there and did that for a Saturday night. <laughs> we went and got Dairy Queen <laughs> Blizzards. <laughs> I dude, never forget, dude. Remember how easy it was at that age to be entertained? Yeah. And yeah. then I think, why were my I, I like I, I remember how entertained I was by the simplicity of that at that age. And I think, why were my parents entertained? Yeah. Why weren't my parents like, bro, we gotta hit a bar? <laughs> yeah. Like this is this sucks. Well, I never realized, like, until I've gotten older, like literally, dude, every Saturday morning. Like, if I had basketball practice or something like that, you know, and I had to wake up early, my mom would always be like, all right, you know, Chris, take the trash down before you go. And every Saturday morning, like clockwork, I would take down the trash, and there'd be two polished-off bottles of white Zinfandel in the garbage bag. And I just thought, like, that's what adults did. But I didn't realize it was my mom on a Friday night was like, I got to sit here with my dumb kid, so I might as well crack up Good for her. some Sutter Home white Zin. And she used to talk to her friend Barbara till, like, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, they would die laughing. What a but I just perfect. thought it was, like, moms. What a per- It was moms. My mom was always talking on the phone till late, laughing her ass But off. drinking wines and shit no, by herself. She, did, she didn't drink, but my mom was a foodie, so she ate stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of desserts and stuff through the night. But, I mean, my dad used to go into the basement. Dude, my dad used to go into our basement and smoke cigars in the in a windowless basement. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> in a windowless basement, dude, while he worked over a buzzsaw. Oh. Like, this is... You, you want to talk about a man that needs to get out of it, Oh, my dude. God. Like, and you were upstairs escape. thinking about different types of art to hang on the wall. God, he must hate you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I, want, I just want my kid to come down here with a power tool and a cigar, and he keeps coming down with different album covers. And I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what my dad would have eaten if I went down there chocolate cake no because he's a real man no dude you're, you're are you kidding me you're a ginzo from philly that i guarantee you your mom and dad would pick cheesecake i'll say this compliment to both nothing beats either of these cakes with a cup of black coffee as your dessert That's if you true. get a cup of black coffee with either one of these you're good it is a grand slam dessert here's what i've done multiple times you ready for this you ready for this? And this is 100% true. I don't have docu- video documents ever, but I've done this multiple times. I like to drink my coffee black, except when I'm having dessert. Multiple times, I've taken a piece of dessert and put it in the coffee as a creamer. And I've done that multiple times <laughs> oh with cheesecake. God. I think Sal has admitted to the same thing. It's what a, is wrong with the two of you? We're from Staten Island. Are you from Staten Island? Well, half my life, my dad... I grew up and went to all high schools in Queens, oh but I could God. arguably say I have a lot of friends on Staten Island, I and half mean, my life I spent on Staten Island because my what, dad lived in New Dorp. Uh, what a... <laughs> that was the name of the place. What a fence to straddle Bay Ridge and Staten Island. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, dude. You should have to live in that river that dude, separates them. <laughs> the Hudson, dude, the Verrazano... <laughs> I'll tell you what I am going to get tattooed on my body before it's said and done is the Verrazano Bridge. Oh, my That's God. That's our skyline. All right, all right. Dude, would you get if I paid for it? Would you get it? I swear to God, I would. If I paid for it, would you get a tattoo of the Verrazano Bridge? What part of my body? Can I choose the part of my body? Yeah, but but yeah, but you can't get it like on your upper. Yeah, no, no, no. I want to get it. I want to show it off. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't have to get it on like my forearm or something. No, no. Where would you get it? Maybe in the middle over here. All right. If I pay for it, will you get it? Yeah, I will. I swear to God. You swear to God. I swear to God. You I swear to God. I'll get the Verrazano Bridge oh, tattooed man. on my body. All right, pimp. We're doing that for the Patreon. Done. No Let's fresh Patreon is coming very soon. All right, I'll do it. That's it. <laughs> All right, I'm paying for it. Yep, I'm in. All right, that's it. It's on camera. You heard it here first. Pimp, where are we at time wise? Oh wow! All right, so let's Flying. go to the, let's go to the phones as we like to around this point in the uh, show. The phone. Hear what people say. What are people saying? Cheesecake is just congealed blob of crap. It's way too rich. One bite, and you could feel the diabetes kicking in. Great point. Chocolate cake 
with icing is the bomb. Just the right amount of sweetness. Again, but, great. But you, you, okay, but my, all right, my, yes, 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 yes. I, <laughs> what, Look at that <laughs> Dude, that's so, oh my God. I'm the kid on the left. Just a fat, disgust. Yeah. The thing is with chocolate cake, though, is yes, but you, it's the same amount of sugar content. I don't think chocolate cake is healthier than cheesecake. It's 100% healthier than cheesecake. The, the, the healthier is the wrong term. Neither are healthy in any way, shape, or form. But chocolate, a slice of chocolate cake is far less bad for you than a slice of cheesecake. <sighs> All right, fine, whatever. Uh, I, I'm so hungry now. Chocolate cake is for sad, drunk people after a breakup. Cheesecake is a delicacy to be enjoyed. Simply, do you want to be depressed or happy? I'll say this, too, about chocolate cake, and it's an argument I'll make. The beauty of chocolate cake is you're getting some of the bitterness and the hints of the dark chocolate versus the sweet of the milk chocolate versus the dash of salt, which brings in some savory. It's just a it's just a perfect flavor balance. Cheesecake is one flavor. It is a creamy cheese flavor, and it's very good. But if you're in for a penny, in for a pound with cheesecake, man. I like dark chocolate cake over anything. Do you like dark chocolate? I like it. I like it all. But I like it straight up. I love a chocolate cake. The light brown chocolate cake with a dark icing in it and a rich icing, you know, yeah. like I, I love it. I What's love the it. best chocolate cake in New York City, in your opinion? I swear to God, dude, nothing is ever going to top the box cakes from the supermarket. For me, that's just the best. Those are just incredible to me. I agree with you, dude. It's, I, I, I'm, I'm on a diet right now, and I'm thinking about it right you keep now. Say, it's dude, so, you keep saying you're on a diet. I, mean, I said it off air. I, no, and okay. they're not going to know what you're talking about. Okay, now. you've said you said that you're on a diet now ten times since I've been here. You're. You're going to ruin it. I guarantee you by next okay, week, dude, wanna, we could get drink. We're going to be drinking and we're going to be eating your sandwiches out the stand. I'm going to get, I, let me at least get a week into it. How about that? If you could get, if you literally, dude, can get 14 days in a diet, if you could get 14 days into your diet document, then I'll give you $200. You, Maybe. and I'm going to, you're an honest guy. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to rely on your integrity for this and trust you 100% that you don't get drunk one night. And I'm talking about diet. You're not eating bread or sugar. If you eat bread or sugar in 14 days, you lose. All right. I'll give you 200 bucks. <laughs> All right, fine. I don't think he's going to do it. Do you think he... I'll but, do it this is easily. The, this is the honor system here. Are we gonna I'll have do to it have easily. No, he, he won't lie, Joe. I'll give him that. I'll do it easily. He's a piece of pig. I will, <laughs> but I'm not a liar. He's not a liar. He isn't a liar. I will, I will give do him that. It. I will do that easily. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, you're going to need some drinks for chocolate cake because it leaves your mouth dry like the Sahara Desert. I don't agree with that at all. Chocolate cake, cake is a little done. black dress of cakes. Ooh, very nice. Oh, that's hot. That's very hot. <laughs> now, what the picture of Sal? Sal with, with a gun. gun. You know what? Pimp, that might be our winner today even though it's got nothing to do with the whole thing. Just Sal with a gun. Sal holding a gun. <laughs> that is a great... That's a great Photoshop too because it looks like that an looks actual so picture of real. Him. All right, Sal. I mean, Pimp, put a put a pin in that one. That might be our winner today. So, what do you pick? One winning tweet. Yeah. Oh, good. Uh, cheesecake, and that's on Rose, Blanche, Dorothy, and Sophia. Golden oh, Girls. Brendan, I love the Golden Girls so much. I can't argue with you on that. They serve sad pieces of chocolate cake in prisons, <laughs> as if it's a congratulations. You're incarcerated. That's, that's another a good point. contender for winner. Yeah. Uh, chocolate cake is the most basic bullshit drunk mom trying to redeem her son's birthday after she's failed him as a... All right, too wordy, too wordy, Jesus. too wordy. Are we serious? Cheesecake needs a Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> In the form of a sauce, a fruit, or an assistant for its limp dong. Chocolate is a mother... Chocolate. Chocolate is mother... Chocolate needs nothing. Just whips it out. Takes your mouth to, to pound down the flavor. <laughs> All right, that that one obviously wins. That one wins. That, that one obviously that's... wins. Our winner is Steve Levy. <laughs> Dude, that's follow, hilarious. Follow Steve at, at SportsNut1124. Thank who, you, Steve. Who won the actual poll, though? Well, we're going to find out. Oh, we okay. We, we do that at the end? Yeah, so. Uh, we Dude, picked... how much better is Pimp getting at spelling? Have you noticed how uh, the improvement on spelling? Not much, but but, but better, <laughs> but better. He's got a long hill to climb. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, they yeah. did oh, not yeah. teach spelling in Whitestone, Queens. Nope. But it's wild. He'll spell like he'll, he'll, you'll you'll be like pimp Google pumpkin pie, and he'll spell it with like a Y in it or yeah. something. Yeah, and then you'll be like 
Pimp, uh, see how old Armand Desante is, and he'll spell it perfectly spell it, out of the yeah, gate. No, like he can't spell understand. pumpkin pie, but he can like literally like tap into like the voting system. Like he can out tap, like you know, like know. Get, get through like the the, the CIA pimp, service. Pimp's why Biden won. Yes. <laughs> and by the way, Biden, who's from Pennsylvania, would pick cheesecake. Uh, all right, let's go to the top. You know, Fat Trump would pick chocolate cake. Oh, I know <laughs> he would. That fat slob. Oh Cheesecake my God! By that's... a lot, dude. Fifty-six forty-three. Really? By a By lot. By the way, this episode doesn't count to our poll. <laughs> no, it, it. Well, how does it not no, count? Because Sal's not even here. Yeah, but I don't. But I didn't pick the 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 tweets. But Sal's not here. Do you think this? Counts? By the way, Sal said he's uh, considering one year end punishment uh, to eat a deep fried tar- tarantula. Really? Remember For... it happened on Hey Babe. Oh yeah, would you well, if if you lost the record for the year? Would you eat a deep fried tarantula? Is it safe? Yeah, they do. Yeah, it we in, make sure uh, it's safe. Some it's country dead. we found. Oh yeah, some country you found. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Guess what? Some country you found is where <laughs> coronavirus came from. <laughs> uh, I, I, I maybe I'd have to have a doctor telling me it's safe. <laughs> Get Doctor Steve to tell you it's safe. I mean. <laughs> What am I doing? I get advice from a man named Dr. Doc, Steve. I know every time you call me back, hey, Dr. Steve said about Corona, I'd be like, Joe, stop. How many votes? Wow, 20,899 votes. That's Is that the most votes to... you guys have had? What's the no. most votes you guys 200, have had? 200,000. 100,000 votes on which topic? Kit Kat. Kit Kat 200, Snickers. 000, yeah. Wow. It went, Kit Kat Snickers went viral. Like, like Kit trending. Kat, Kit Kat picked it up and it, yeah, it started trending. It was crazy. And who won that one, Kit Kat or Snickers? Sal won with Kit Kat. I couldn't believe the Kit Kat. And I it pummeled, Kit Kat. but it pummeled Snickers. I thought on popularity alone, Snickers was going to no, no, walk. No, you know why? You know why it won? I don't know if you guys may discuss this because there's a, a big, pretty healthy part of the population that doesn't like caramel or nuts. Yeah. But everybody likes chocolate and wafers. So, you know. So, man, humble pie today. I lose cheesecake 56.2% to chocolate cake 43.8%. We always end by you saying, I still love you. I still love you. I love you, too. Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds. Man, yeah, they come into the mic. I'm talking taste buds. Taste buds.